So the self-paced online program demo, uh, I will turn it over to Mike Curl to give you a, a sneak peek of it. Mike? All right. Okay, so hopefully everybody can see my screen here. So um, a couple of things um, I wanted to kind of show right off the bat is um, we're doing um, a little intro uh, for the students because not every one of these students is going to be, we'll say, computer savvy. So uh, they've incorporated a little bit of uh, uh, what is the material or how the course is outlined. So you're going to have a textbook um, that's going to be available to them that they'll be able to to print off from the LMS, as well as this online course that we're talking about and demonstrating. Uh, it kind of gives them an outline of what the course um, is completely of, of how many different modules they are. And then while within each one of those, some of the things that you have, key concepts, demonstrations, lectures, and I'm gonna show you some of these just to kind of give you an idea of what they look like. And then they even went so far as to show you, you know, how to navigate, you know, which buttons to click and to give you kind of an idea. Uh, again, what kind of expectations for the time that it's going to take to do it, uh, where we, you can get some support, and then just kind of a, an idea of what that screen kind of looks like. And then I'll show you here. This is kind of our navigation bar. So you can see I can actually move here all the modules. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, you can see some check marks that I've completed some of these modules, but I'm gonna, I wanna show you a few things in appliance just to give you kind of a sampling of some of the information. So, so in uh, appliance, one of the first uh, appliances they're gonna review is air conditioners. And you can see here is some typical text, but we also try to incorporate some really large, good, um, resolution color pictures to help illustrate certain learning uh, objectives. Uh, maybe even uh, a chart or something that may help them to understand what's being described in what I call verbiage or in the text. So that's kind of one method. And then as we advanced here, within each section or every um, task that a technician needs to learn, we're teaching them about a PDI. So this is the steps that would be, uh, um, a, that would go along with doing the PDI for this particular uh, uh, test or this particular air conditioner in this case. And some of these PDI sheets are longer and shorter than others and have more detail. So it kind of gives them a, a quick step-by-step -step instruction as to what they should have learned or how they're gonna to have to perform this. Then how could you actually get some practice is because this is online, um, we aren't there to stand over them and walk them out to an RV. So what we did was we created some videos and I'm just gonna play a couple of seconds of this, but you'll get the idea. So, so for lab one, perform PDI on the air conditioner. So what that is, is um, our technicians, myself and uh, Mike Anderson, uh, we went out to these RVs and we actually performed these PDIs of these particular ideas and we videotaped them and then they voiced them over so that the technician would also have the ability to listen and watch somebody do the same task that they're um, expected to learn. And uh, potentially you could repeat this and, you know, play it over and over if necessary to pick up. Another task or another asset that's within this um, uh, learning module is these, what they call interactions. And these are um, little uh, programs that we're hoping to get the person um, that likes to click the buttons to be able to move through and also uh, reaffirm or uh, reinforce some of the learnings that they have to go. So this happens to be the air conditioner. So inside this particular area, this is looking like the inside of an RV and I've got different appliances here, refrigerator, microwave range, but I'm testing the microwave, or excuse me, I'm testing the air conditioner. So here's the thermostat and I need to turn on the thermostat. So I'll click on it. Oh, it looks like it went into furnace mode first. So let me click it again to put it into air conditioner. And then I'll need to turn down the thermostat. That's a task I need to learn. So now the air conditioner should be on. And so I can check airflow. So again, they wanna check these vents to make sure vents are working. And this is all stuff that I'm clicking on. And they can be reading as well as clicking on the vents 
okay, so why, how would I check this, uh, if this air conditioner is functioning properly? And I can click to put a thermostat in there. And then there's a special word. We've talked about this earlier in the text and maybe in a picture. Well, now I'm going to get reinforced here a little bit more in that here, here's the air conditioner temperature, here's the outside. So the differential is that delta and you type in the, the number and you can submit that. It will give you some questions here to answer. Um, yes, it looks like it's working. Let's complete our PDI sheet. And you might have a PDI sheet that you would click uh, different things on. So that's kind of what we would call an interaction. Um, another tool, besides just having plain pictures, we have pictures that are, this happens to be in the refrigerator section. There are pictures with these little bubbles on it that they use the term hot spots, And you can click on these and they actually give you some information about what's happening in that particular area. And this just gives them a, another way of learning without having to continuously read, read, read um, down a, a particular page or something. Um, another um, I'll show you is just kind of, uh, I'm just going to jump into um, the electric here just for a second to show you what, how we check to see how they're doing. And at different times and different courses, um, there are some quizzes and there are some very, very short quizzes in the middle of a, uh, of a, of a module possibly, but every module has a very intensive uh, multiple choice question quiz, um, what we would call an assessment, practice questions at the very end of, the, uh, of each section. And uh, those would be a good study guide as well. So here is just kind of a midterm quiz. So I just kind of give you, we're trying to teach them, in this case, uh, electrical and Ohm's law. And so you can click it and I got a green, so I got that one right. And I get, oops, I got that one wrong. And so let's get, uh, let's get B, we get it right. And voila. Then you end up with getting some information here. I got four questions. I answered all four of them and I had three to one. Uh, three right, one incorrect. I can review these and it'll go back and I can uh, and see some explanation of what I did wrong. Or I can just retake the quiz all together. Um, another way that we present information to them um, another example is, again, we're talking text that they might have to read, but rather than, again, just reading a paragraph, we kind of put these in this little pull down. So here you expand it, and here's a little bit of information that they need to know about the parking brake and how maybe they test that parking brake and maybe an illustration or a picture to go along with it. You know, here's a, you know, whoops, sorry. Um, you know, dash components, you know, maybe, uh, convenience lights, you know, and so there's, there's information underneath each of these tabs. So it, it makes it a little bit uh, less uh, monotony of just setting there reading page after page. And then lastly, I'd like to show you one more here that again, here we have our typical text, but here's another kind of interaction. Um, it kind of is a combination of hotspots and information. So if you click on the DOT, it's showing you that, oh, here's the area that we're talking about, but then I have this little eye. And if I click on the eye, here I've got some more information about what that actually means. Um, like for instance, manufacturing date. Okay, I see this is the manufacturing date, but how, what does that mean? And they can click on it and here it explains a little bit more detail. So um, just a bunch of different methods to be able to um, keep the student or the person engaged in learning without uh, trying to, you know, you know, keep reading page after page every time we're going to switch up pictures, interactions, some touch and move type items. Uh, with that, I, I mean, uh, I'll open it up to if there's questions. Um, I'm sure that uh, several people, uh, Sharon, myself, Mike, could answer anything that you'd like to know about it. With that, I'll turn it back over to uh, Monica. Yeah, Mike, I think uh, we're gonna save the questions to end. So please okay. jot them down or throw them in a chat box and we'll kind of catch up at the end. But uh, uh, many thanks to Mike and Mike and, and the team. Um, hopefully what you saw there, a um, couple things I'll point out is uh, from day one when I joined the team here, uh, what I kept hearing and kept hearing was, you know, we need we needed something that uh, is online. Um, 
We want, we can't send our text to Elkhart all the time. Um, we want, um, you know, we want both reading and practical. And, you know, these were, these were very, very much articulated to me. It's very much understood coming from the education space. I feel very comfortable in understanding where the needs were after visiting to the dealers. The other big one is we don't want to take them off the floor. Uh, we don't, you know, if, when they're off the floor, it's cost me money. So um, all of these things you'll see as we talk about the benefits of this program. But um, I'll also point out that this was all done in a very short period of time. And because this is all cloud-based uh, education, we will be able to change, update, add live pictures, different things of that nature, and continue to be in a state of, of improvement so that this uh, experience doesn't have to wait 10 years to be updated.